This week we've been doing a robotics camp um, in partnership with La Sierra University. Today I made a robot car. It detects if there's something in front of it and then it turns around and goes the other way. Yeah, so we're learning computer coding, uh, electronics, learning how to program a microprocessor. They started out by learning how to program the LED lights and then they worked through a progression where they're now doing servos and motors to make these robots move. Yeah. We're trying to get like something like you know, special, something that stands out, not just something basic with the sensor. So we have this sensor. It's like the eyes of the robot. Then we have the breadboard. It's where you would connect all your wires like these. Uh, we wrote the code so that when it detects a wall, it backs up, does a 360, and goes away. And we have our little LED lights here, so they flash. And then we have our speakers, so they make like our little police. Siren. We have students from Shamawa Middle School and North High School who are working on computers that were donated by Smart Riverside. We both started from the beginning. We didn't know basically anything yeah. about it. We just came because no. we thought it was yeah. cool. Here it taught me a lot more things than my old classes. Because they explain yeah. it to you and explain, explain what every you. little piece does. Learn how case sensitive it is. And if you make one mistake, then the whole code messes up. Because if you um, make one wrong move, you can either short circuit it or you can make it maybe catch fire. There is a pretty long code for each individual piece. They're learning basics of C++, which is a programming language. They're learning the syntax or the coding behind it. So by learning how to do that right now, it will give them a head start and advantage in the job market. I I've learned a lot. I've learned like how these robots work. How to use the breadboards and the light sensors. I'm learning how to code. How to use the Arduino programming language. How to program LEDs. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I've had fun. At first it was hard, but then I started to understand it, so it went a lot easier.